Hello guys, uh, welcome back. So now we'll start S4 HANA and in S4 HANA, first of all, it is going to be started from introduction onwards, right? What is this S4 HANA and all? So I'll just give some brief introductions, explanations about that, and then we'll proceed further one by one. Whatever the topics are there, that will be explained uh, practically. So first of all, now look at here, what is SAP S4 HANA? Now, SAP S4 HANA is an ERP software developed by SAP SE, that is the name of this organization, right? So now here, look at here, this is the latest version of SAP. See, SAP SE is the name of an organization, right? Which is developed a product, product called, it's like they have developed a software, an ERP, and that name of the ERP is SAP itself, right? So what is happening guys, it is like, of course, if you talk about any particular software or, or like applications, whatever it is, so it is having certain versions also. So look at here. Now, this is the latest version of SAP, right? The latest version is S4 HANA. Now, it is the successor to SAP ECC and R3. So if you talk about S4 HANA, this is the latest version. Before that, of course, we have like SAP has released multiple versions. Multiple versions means if you start like way back when the SAP uh, started, uh, I mean like around 1972, I think, right? So in 1972, 73, uh, their like first version was released that is like started from SAP R1. Then it was like, I think 79, they released the second one that is called R2. Then R3 was there, uh, maybe in 92, uh, I'm not, able to remember exactly but maybe around uh, yeah maybe in 92 it was released the r3 was released i'm talking about like this is called real time architecture here like presentation layer application layer database so these are the things but this is quite old and and no need to again have a you know discussion on those things and all uh, later on what is happening after that like uh, ecc came ecc uh, version came into market ecc like 5.0 I think was there in 2004 and after that like uh, ECC 6.0 came and 6.0 onwards I think in 2005 itself 6.0 uh, came and uh, then 6.0 onwards what is happening guys ECC uh, was as it is and in that they added like EHP enhancement uh, you know packages so EHP 1, EHP 2, EHP 3 right 2000 uh, I think 6 EHP 1 was there then EHP 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 right uh, in 2013-7 was, uh, what do you say, launched and then uh, uh, 2014, yes, 2014 EHP 8 was there. Then here what is happening, ECC was stopped and then they jumped to S4 HANA, the latest version. In S4 HANA also again guys, different different versions are there like S4 HANA 16, then is there 17.09, then uh, 18.09, right, then we are having like 19.09, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23 right now is the latest version which is there right so, uh, when i say like it is successor to ecc and r3 it doesn't mean that only two versions was launched launched there are several versions which is already and in s4 hana also the latest one is 2023 which is running in the market right okay and uh, now sap has like generally what is happening till 23 they were releasing uh, whatever uh, new releases are there like every year it is happening but again 23 onwards like uh, they plan to deliver whatever the major release is there that is every after two years right that is going to be delivered so anyway now here this is the latest version of sap and it is successor to ecc and r3 in the sense these are the previous version now what is happening it is replaced by s4 hana the way we are using other applications in your smartphone and every after some time you guys will be getting some notifications to uh, what do you say update this right why because the new release came so the, it is having some certain new functionality the same thing is applicable applicable in case of sap as well right so look at here what is the new or differences some little bit explanations i'll uh, give here and apart from this practically when i explain the topic then practically you guys will come to know automatically now what are the differences there also i'll show you the things so here s4 hana look at here runs on hana database Right, S4 HANA runs on HANA database. Now, so uh, 
look at here whether it is on premise and cloud again what is this on right uh, on premise and cloud that i'll explain right now so s4 hana runs on hana database which is an in memory database developed by sap itself which is having the faster program compared to the previous version that is ecc so hana is what is happening guys if you talk about the speed of hana this is quite faster compared to ecc version and if you talk about like uh, whenever the upgradations are happening in the sense like whenever the new releases are coming of course some uh, what to say uh, differences will be there and it is going to be like certain uh, things are going to be new functionalities will be added right so here hana database is added here and uh, if you talk about ecc look at here ecc was not having in its own database and it was you know using the database from a different vendor including like ibm oracle microsoft right these are the name of their database which was being used by sap earlier right later on what is happening sap developed its own database called hana data hana database and the later release even like in ecc 6.0 ehp uh, 8 is there that also support this hana database okay so this is what the difference between ecc and s4 hana s4 hana is like uh, having its own database and earlier ecc was having it was using the third party database third party database means different vendors were there microsoft ibm oracle like that okay now again here i have written like in memory database so what is this in memory database guys in memory small explanations i'll be giving or is like uh, on this one like you'll be having multiple videos available on youtube that you guys can check this is related to computers right so here look at here an in memory database that is called imdb as uh, a type of database that store data in computers main memory ram random access memory right so it is going to store the data where in main memory main memory instead of the traditional disk that is called hard disk or here ssd solid state drive right so in this case what is happening guys here the fetching data from main memory is much faster compared to this hard disk right and that is the reason here what is happening sap uh, you know hana designed to store the data in the main memory rather than disk again if we talk about like uh, uh, this like s4 hana so of course like it is going to store all the data in ram at the same time what is happening guys data is going to replicate to the from main memory it is going to replicate to hard disk as well which is also called what persistent memory but again this is quite technical and i think functional consultant if you talk about like because your ex, this explanation explanation is for functional consultant not for technical consultant so no need to go in those details and all okay so uh, okay so this is all about s4 hana now here as i said like here on premise and cloud so let me give some explanations what is this on premise and cloud as well now here one thing is clear what is this 100 uh, what to say uh, the difference between ecc and s4 and the major difference i'm talking about i'm not talking in uh, any differences in terms of configurations because configuration is not explained yet and i believe uh, everything like if i explain the things practically then that is going to have more impact and more uh, what to say you guys will be having more understanding instead of explaining something theoretically so theoretically one thing i said like yes this s4 hana is being run on hana database and ecc was not having its own database so that is the difference here now what is this on premise or cloud so let's have a look very simple explanations will be there guys okay now look at here so s4 hana can be deployed on two platform that is on premise and cloud what is this on premise guys look at here here the sap service sorry sap server is self managed that is maintained by business or its it partner what is this it partner it partner concept is pretty simple guys say for example tata motor is there it's a manufacturing organization they are not having any expertise in it in the sense i'm talking about like let's suppose if they are using sap so they don't have any expertise in sap so of course now whatever sap related problems are there so who will provide the solutions for that they will hire certain they are going to take services from let's suppose wipro technology or infosys or ibm because these companies are having a big team of sap consultant so in that case if they decided to take uh, let's suppose support from ibm 
so ibm is going to be treated as its it partner in the sense ibm is going to deploy certain ibm will uh, you know like make a team and that team will uh, you know will support tata motor right that team will be dedicated uh, what is it that is a dedicated team which is going to provide support tata motor right so uh, now so that is called it partner here on premise is preferred if the client want to keep the maximum control on their data right so of course like here what is happening guys on premise means if you talk about the data storage it is there in the client what you say their whatever their premises are there right every controls all the system everything so whatever is there that is with, will be there in the control of client itself right even on cloud also there is no any such kind of this one but still uh, now here what is happening like let's suppose something uh, you are keeping let's suppose your personal files are there you kept somewhere in a uh, hard drive in the sense like you are having some uh, pen drive or something so it is having you on that like you are having your own control and the same thing you kept somewhere on the google drive right so google drive means the services given by google but still it is not there in your hand right it is kept somewhere but that is also safe right so this is what the difference now so on premise means what is happening so here this is preferred if the client want to keep maximum control on their data now sap upgrades are released annually but what is happening guys but have to be implemented and tested by the client's team because every year or every up to two year whatever releases are happening so if the client have you know if they want to upgrade these things so they have to like whatever the team is there whatever their it partner is there these people will be responsible to uh, what to say perform all this whatever the new changes are there so they have to do this whatever this uh, implementations roll out whatever is required okay now so that will be done by their it partner and tested by those people only in the sense consultant okay now look at here as per hana cloud edition is software as service hosted on sap server and maintained by sap itself here the software software upgrades happen quarterly and automatically so here what is happening guys look at here the benefit now in order to for on premise they have to maintain a team and these people are responsible for all these upgradations and all whereas if like let's suppose cloud edition is there then here what is happening guys now so upgradations and everything will happen like every quarter it is going to happen i'll give some more explanations uh, i'll explain uh, the differences between this uh, on premise and s4 ana here in details now however uh, look at here a hybrid delivery model also can be opted where like what is happening that support both on premise and on cloud solution so this is also there now so look at here if you talk about on premise versus cloud what is the differences okay whether client has to go for on premise or cloud that is totally their decision if you talk about ecc then of course like on premise itself option was there everybody is whatever the database was there that is being maintained by client itself or is like if they are having any, any it partner and all so those people are responsible now what is happening in hana we are having this option cloud cloud option is also there look at here on premise edition has a traditional licensing which means a preliminary purchase with annual maintenance initial certain amount they have to pay and with annual maintenance charges of course they have to pay to sap the license fee allow the company to own a software and reduce the current maintenance fee okay now but the cost of upgrade will be high if you talk about cloud now let's suppose sap is going to charge certain maintenance fee and all right so if maintenance fee is being charged now here what is happening on premise means upgradation supposed to be done manually so for that they have to maintain a team right so whether they maintain the team on their own payroll or they are taking the services from ibm accenture infosys tech mahindra whichever companies everywhere they have to pay the money if they are maintaining the team on their own payroll for that also they have to like whatever team is there so every month they have to pay the salary for that but what about cloud cloud if it is if they are on cloud then no need to maintain a huge team for that right whatever the uh, what do you say uh, 
like if you talk about on premises then they need to maintain lots of things right infrastructure is required to maintain this server and all which is on cloud it is not required now so somewhere like what is happening but again if cloud it is not required then the maintenance cost will be there right that's what i have specified here look at here the cloud edition has a subscription license which means that one predictable you know not monthly but annual payment of course they have to make uh, make so one month one predictable annual payment right that covers everything from infrastructure to system upgrades so look at here the benefit of course on premise means infrastructure supposed to be maintained by uh, the company itself say for example tata motor now whatever system upgrades it they are the, they are going to maintain an it team so those people will be responsible but here in cloud what is happening guys no need to maintain any infrastructure for this uh, what to say this one for sab server and apart from this whatever upgrades are there that is also being taken care by sab itself right so s4 hana on cloud edition does not required you to invest on internal it support it support means a team supposed to be required right so here s4 hana on cloud edition does not required to invest any money any any amount on this one right on internal it support which reduce the expenses on it staff right so of course it is going to be reduced somewhere now on premise addition on the other hand involve a high cost because maintenance of infrastructure and it support of course it support team is required so this is pretty simple guys hope you guys are able to understand whatever because i have written uh, clearly here the differences so on premise means infrastructure is required it support team is required for that also that cost is incurred whereas in cloud it is going to be very minimal minimum right now as for hana on premise look at here the clients it staff have to plan of course like they have to plan the upgradations and all and whatever the test is there that is supposed to be carried out by those people itself okay and control all the system upgrades which happen annually all the changes are under the organization's control itself where on premise whereas in cloud what is happening where is the cloud edition automatically upgrades the software quarterly without the customers participation here right so this is what the difference between on premise and cloud i hope you guys are having some clarity right and uh, this is all about this s4 hana guys so this is just an introduction here if you talk about the differences of course in terms of configurations certain differences are there between ecc and s4 hana again since this is like uh, for fico so mostly we'll talk about the fico itself uh, in terms of configurations whatever the differences are there right so we'll see practically right and uh, we'll see like uh, practically in the sense like if you guys are having idea about ecc right if you have the perfect idea about ecc uh, the moment you go for configurations on s4 hana automatically you guys will come to know like what are the differences okay so that we'll see practically so that's all in this session guys